Like, I'd be like, why am I farting like that? Like, I don't understand why Jesus would give us periods and buttholes. Doesn't make sense. Like, if he really just don't like us like that, he could have just said that a long time ago. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still want to party. Pink out like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky. All of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. everything is a hot mess. I went to sleep with my hair in two braids, girl, and it is what it is. But I'm cleaning up the stairs right now, and I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do it, but my vacuum doesn't have the thing on the end for it, so I decided to just vacuum it like it's the flow. And I got a long extension cord too, so <laughs> let's get it done because, and I figured I might as well record this because I'm not gonna do this again for the camera. Absolutely not. This is hard, grown ass woman work. And who wants to do that all the time? Not me. At this point, I wanna go back inside the womb. And my puppy's down there. Yeah, the whole fam bam, look. It's Camila, Caro, and the babies. His son is just fucking gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get in the shower here in a little bit. I haven't gotten a shower yet. We just kind of woke up. And you know when I wake up, I have chores to do. So I have to get up, I stretch, do a couple jumping jacks, and then I get my coffee ready. I let them calm down. I do not feed, and I don't recommend feeding your puppies or your dogs right when you wake up. Give everybody a second to calm down and, and get the feeling that they're even hungry. Um, so I let them run around, calm down while I drink my coffee. I open the door when I go out with them, but I make them all sit first. I do not let them come out until everyone sit and quiet, like I showed y'all. And I let them out, open the door, everybody goes outside, I make my coffee, I let them run around, release that energy that they've been built up from the morning. Cause I don't, when they wake up and start crying, that don't mean that I get up and they're learning that. Just because you woke up does not mean that I have to wake up. So once they wake up, I don't entertain them. I close my door and let them realize just because you're up don't mean I'm getting up. Everything's on my time. You know, I walk past them and everything until I'm ready to let them out. And then after that, she has, I got my chores to do, so then I'll feed them, and they all eat really well. I think I showed y'all that too. The puppies know their bowls, and they know not to disturb the big dogs until the big dogs are done, and whatever's left, I'll let them, the puppies eat it. And then I let them run around for about a couple hours. I've been trying to wake up early, like about seven or 8 a.m. That way I can give them time to just, um, to decompress and settle down. That way by noon, I could about put, put them up so I could start working. By noon, all the chores are done. I've either mopped the floors, took it out their boo-boo. I'm right now teaching them how to use the restroom outside. So I don't think they got that yet, but I just moved their potty pad outside. So I hope that that teaches them, like that's the only way I could teach them to start using it outside because I'm not walking them on leashes. <laughs> I'm getting the girls their haircuts because their hair isn't growing like that. Hey, I'm trying to talk. But um, that's the only reason why I'm still holding on to the girls uh, because their hair is not long enough yet. Hey. Go ahead. Who's boss? Zena ain't scared of nothing though. Bella is the dominant one now. Oh wait, no, Zena's chasing her. Zena's always been a fighter though, so I named her that. But Bella's a bully. She acts just like her mom. Bella acts just like her mom, it's crazy. She got her mom's personality straight off the bone. But yeah, so we did all that. Now I'm about to do, finish my chores, jump in the shower, get dressed, and get some work done for the day. Cause you know, we're back on it and I'm back in my mojo. And I'm feeling really good. Cause I can get in a really dark place sometimes and start thinking about life too hard and start feeling like my life hasn't become shit. And I just be thinking like, I'm not doing enough. I need to do better. I need to do better. 
And so I can get in those modes. Like I'm my biggest critic. I'm, that's why I'm always upgrading and doing better and stuff like that. Cause I'm my biggest critic. I dissect myself and what I'm doing in my life so drastically. But I'm glad I do that because of that. I'm able to. Child, I have seven animals in my home and it doesn't bother me. Like my house is big enough to where seven animals can run around and not even bother me. And I love that. So let's get these stairs clean so I can get myself together and take a shower.
I deserve some crab legs. For sure. Most certainly. Oh. Ow! Oh. Okay. Oh, let's get a shower. Oh my gosh. What's up sisters? How y'all doing today? It's your girl Malaysia checking in with you. I got the babies in the back if you could see them. I'm headed, today is a maintenance day for all of us. I'm headed to go and take them to the groomers, same groomers that did Shiloh and Osiris. I'm gonna drop them three off and then I'm gonna go get my lips touched up. So I missed my 12 week refill basically where it's like a hundred dollars off i could have paid 350 instead of 450 um, i paid 650 the first time i got my lips done i went with a dramatic look i went for 1.5 milliliter and i loved it personally i have already big lips so i feel like my lips were made for the dramatic because if you have small lips it doesn't look right because it looks like your lips are about to bust but it just fit my lips so perfectly so today I'm gonna go get them touched up and I'm actually gonna do one milliliter. Um, I was gonna do a 0.5, but I don't like it when I could barely tell a difference. I like to see a big difference. And since I still have filler left in my lips, I could feel it. Um, since I still have filler left in my lips, I'm gonna do the one mil, because I feel like if I did a 1.5 again, it would be way too much. So I'm gonna do the one mil, and then after I'm done with her, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm gonna get my Shanae nails back. The French tip is cute, very sophisticated or whatever, but girl, like my nail tech said, she said, short nail, that's why you had no boyfriend. Long nail gets you boyfriend. And I'm not gonna lie, when I had my long nails, like I was just getting them. Like, I guess it's just kind of a look. Long nails doesn't necessarily mean that you're ratchet or anything like that. It's just for the, the you know, it's an aesthetic. And I miss my long nails. I miss clinking them around and whatnot. So I'm gonna get my long nails back. And I also need to stop and get my fuses fixed for my car because my charger went out. But I may not do that today because I do have some appointments lined up that I need to also go to. So I probably won't do that today. I'll probably save that for tomorrow. Sunday is supposed to be my spending day. But since he was available today, I went ahead and just booked everything for today. My nails, my groomers, the lips. So I'm gonna do everything else another day. And I paid my bills. My rent and my water bill is all that's due on the first. And I also need to call the city and get my water switched over because right now the apartments is paying for the water. And, and since I have a home, I have to pay for my own water and have it in my own name. So I'm gonna get that switched over, pull my credit and get mine. I, I still do credit repair, but I decided to stop taking on people. I decided just to work on myself first and get myself to the 800s because I did pay somebody $8,800 to fix my credit and they did nothing to it. I got, I basically got nothing out of that. I guess you say I basically got scammed and the person who I spent the money, sent the money to, stupid ass rich, I don't even wanna say any other names because I'm trying to be positive, rich and Drake Rio from Credit Surge, I highly recommend you not do business with them. They did absolutely nothing for me. They did nothing for me, absolutely nothing for me. And I'm gonna post their pictures, their faces, and their information. That way, if y'all ever come across these um, people, you do not do business with those guys. I promise you, it'll be the worst thing you ever did. You're just gonna waste your money. So you gotta put my credit, fix that up, get busy, you know? Just stay motivated. Like, I was very demotivated and very discouraged because I got this last year, because I got fucked out of a lot of my money. You know, I got fucked out of the money that I spent for my Instagram. I got fucked out of the money that I spent for my credit. I wanted to get a $100,000 car. I got wanted to get $100,000 in business funding. I got fucked out of everything. And it hurts thinking about it. But it's only like $15,000 that I got fucked out of. But it's cool. Like Elon Musk said, it's better to lose $10,000. I mean, what did he say? The quote basically is like, um, don't don't ponder over ten thousand dollars that you lost when you can you okay when you can make another ten thousand dollars what last year taught me is that's the reason why i do everything by myself i do everything by myself because if you want it done right most times you have to do it by yourself i and the only 
thing that came good out of that credit stuff was that I went to credit school, you know, and he was supposed to be my mentor. My mentor ended up being full of shit. So that's fine. I'm going to take the corporate landlord's credit classes. Um, I already got certified in credit repair cloud, you know, with the number one credit repair school in the um, country. I have all of my certifications with them. So thankfully I have that and then I'm going to use Corporate Landlord to help me out some more. And I wish I would have did research before I decided on them too. But, and I don't care how anybody takes this, but that's why a lot of people don't do business with black people. Like, because you're it's always either you get an attitude from somebody or they don't, once you give them the money, they don't do their job. Black people don't even do business with black people. There's always some type of an issue. There's always some type of either an attitude or they start thinking you're cool and you're friends with them. They stop doing their job. You know what I mean? And so that was my fault doing business with two niggas. You feel me? I should have did more research. And yeah, there's some professional black owned business out businesses out there, but even black people know you either got to deal with an attitude or once you give them their money, give them your money, they start dragging their feet. So that was my fault doing business with two niggas. I should have did way better research, but that's okay. It I did it, you know. And last year I just been I was spending money. I just you know have money like that, and I still do. You know I got my body redone. I moved. Invested in my credit. I tried to get my Instagram back. I invested in credit repair school. I took on a new business. I had a boyfriend. I fell in love. You know, so I, last year was last year, but this year is this year. And so I'm trying to go hard with everything and just stay motivated. And honestly, I'm just focused on myself. This whole month, I'm gonna stay inside. Cause I, last month and the month before I was going outside a lot, mainly cause I was looking for something. Like um, I, my man can't teleport in my living room and I know that. I was going outside so I can be seen, so I can meet people, network, and also so I could possibly run into my person. You know, cause I, I miss being in a relationship I miss being in a relationship that's really why I was you know like I want to find my person again because that wasn't that was an illusion of what my person who my person was that's not my person because my person is not gonna have kids by another woman and my person is not going to well, they might have kids might be grown kids my person is not gonna be attached to somebody else and my person is not gonna cause me headache and my person is not gonna let another woman cause me headache you know, my person is out there and I don't have a family, which is why finding my person is an important part of my life. You know, I want love. I want to start my own family uh, and I don't mind putting in the work to do that. You know, most women think they are the prize, like you're the only prize. No, bitch. A man is a prize too. Y'all be forgetting a man provides. A man not going to provide for a bitch who thinks she come first. Your man should always come first. If you put your man first and take care of your man, your man is going to take care of you. Like most people say, they put their kids first. They put their kids before God. They put their kids before their man. I don't believe in that. Personally, I think God come first. My man come next. I come next. And then my kids. And the reason why I say that is, what will my kids be without any of us? If you don't put God before your kids, how is your kid gonna have faith? If you don't put your man before yourself and your kids, how is you and your kids gonna be taken care of and be provided for? Yeah, you, if you wanna be the man, go ahead and be the man, bitch. Take care of yourself and your kids, but that's why a lot of single mothers be complaining because you don't wanna be a single mom. You wish you could be submissive. You wish you knew how, but you don't. You steady thinking it's, you, it's all about you and it's not. That's how I roll. It's gonna be God first, I'm gonna put my man next, I'm gonna then put myself and then my kids. My kids will be nothing without me. My kids will be nothing without their father. And we would all be nothing without God and Jesus' love, amen. And that's just how I look at it. And you don't have to agree with me, but that's also why I'm not a single mother, because I look at things that way, because it's not all about me. I would be nothing if I didn't let men provide for me and put my man first. I always put my man before myself because what, what would I be without that guidance? What would I be without that love and that, and that provider and that protection? What would I be? And a woman out here by herself, that's what I'll be. And I don't want to be like a lot of these bitches out here. Like Candace Owens, I love her. I look up to her. I love what she preaches. And I wish I could be half, 
And I know one day I'll be half the woman that she is. You feel me? If I keep being a teachable spirit and a teachable woman and open-minded to it. That's just me rambling on. And that's just stuff that I, you know, that's how I look at it. You don't have to agree with me. You can agree to disagree. That's fine. It's still high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They do still look good, mm -hmm. right? I want them to look better. Yeah, period. You think they'll be too big? No. Nah. I think they'll be all right. I think they'll be like the like size that time. you wanted, yeah. Because mm -hmm. last time we did 1.5, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's like a big old one. All right. I know 0.5, I won't know this such a difference. Yeah. You're probably tired, but like 0.5 is literally like smaller than a blueberry. Mm -hmm. Slash. Making plays. Making plays. Hit a crisscross, make a fall, win the game. Ooh. Break his ankles, what you doing in my lane? What Hit him with an alley oop, now they screaming out my name. <laughs> Let's, do it. Let's do it. Take it to the hoop, push through it. Push through it. Get to it. Yeah. Show stopper, you the champ. Let's do it. Let's do it. Moving state to state, I'ma show you how to play. I just want a ball, so just get up out my way. I just want it all, so right now you gotta wait. I just gotta call, cause it's money to be made. Ring so big, you can't even see my face. Ball it on the court, make them chase. Buzzer beat a shot clock, first place. Got them running plays like they run it in a race.
much. Don't wanna be here alone. It's breaking my heart watching you go. I wanted to stop.
she's back she's back she's back so i probably didn't even have to do that because like she said my lips were very still good but me <laughs> I wanted my lips back. I wish I would have never been introduced to this because it's now it's addicting, but I don't really mind because you're the business. Sorry, let me get myself together. I'm being too much. You are the business. You are the product. You are everything. Just like real estate agents. If you go to a real estate agent page and they have nothing but houses posted, I guarantee you they won't make a sale because those people want to get to know you. If people get to know you and they like you, they will shop and and love anything you have to offer. So where was I going with this? Because I just totally lost my train of thought. You're the product. So this year I've been invested in myself. My eyelashes are kind of giving, I don't know what right now, because I filled my own eyelashes in because the lady who did my eyelashes hasn't responded to me yet. And I honestly don't really like people who don't have a booking page, but thankfully she responds, like she responds. But like my eyelash lady hasn't responded to me yet. And I'm just like, my three week fill is like about to come up. And I just, I, was, I texted her last week so I could schedule a whole week ahead of time, but she hasn't responded. And so I decided to fill in my own lashes. I didn't want to miss it and I, they were falling off and it was spacey. And so I did my own lashes, but I'm really happy that she responds accordingly. She will hit you back. She's not gonna act like she's too good to book you ahead of pre-book you. But so we are going to go to the only place that I know to get my nails done. And I'm gonna charge my phone there because my phone is about to die and the fuses in my car are out so I can't even charge my phone in my car. And I'm hoping, scam likely, um, I'm hoping that by the time I'm done with my nails that my dogs will be done, my puppies, my babies, my grandbabies will be done. I don't even like calling them dogs, so rude. How about y'all? So I calmed down a little bit, I was a little hype. <laughs> But I'm about to go get my nails done. Dogs dropped off, lips done, I'm gonna get my nails done, and I'm gonna stop at a store and grab some incense or some candles, because I have nothing in the house to make my crib smell good, and I'd be cooking, and I don't like it when my house smells like food. Um, it's just not what it is. Oh, but I have to get off of this camera. All right, y'all, we made it to the nail shop. Nailed nail. This is where I always come to get my nails done. When I'm downtown. Came out so cute. I missed my Shanae nails. Let me put on my seatbelt. Because I don't want to hear nothing from you, sister. I don't want to hear a big sister. Big sis, little sis, whatever sis. I don't want to hear red. Okay, my seatbelt is on. Okay, it's under my armpit. My puppies are not done yet, but I can't stay downtown i have to get going i have some stuff i have to do in frisco so i got to go oh she eating that's what i just did girl i just swallowed a whole water damn it i forgot to show y'all 
I just swallowed a whole Wendy's number two double me and I'm not gonna lie I think because I was so polite I was like yes ma'am hi ma'am excuse me ma'am I'm very polite actually I have manners whenever you have manners it the results are way better you should have seen my hamburger my hamburger was so clean like he was like oh she got manners I'm gonna give her a mannered hamburger like that shit was pretty and it tasted it was all right though I'm not gonna lie I would have preferred a Sonic or a Whataburger double cheese way better it's just way bigger the Wendy's double is just so small but I guess because I'm a little bit of the diet and Ozempic it'll do but I'm not gonna lie Ozempic is doing its thing girl I look good because <laughs> I was gonna I was a little scared about my BBL going away but the BBL is BBLing like my stomach is so little right now it's kind of sexy I'm not gonna lie to you my lips are a little swollen but I love it <laughs> oh, uh, I can't wait till I get me a man who I can just like unleash my demons on and just be so fucking sexual and just swallow his kids and just blah, blah, on his dick that's so nasty I need to go pray it's just crazy isn't it how one day we were just like little girls like we were children and then we grew up and now we're sucking dick Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yikes, bro. My daughter's not allowed out of the house until she's literally 21 years old. My daughter could stay with me. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. My daughter could stay with me until she's 21 because I didn't wait until I was almost 30 to have kids so she could stay with me until she's 21. But if she act up or bring any boys to the house, I'm knocking them out. I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. We're going to have an actual talk. I'm, I think I'll be a cool mom for real. I'm not knocking them out. Because I don't want to scare my daughter off. So I'll talk to them. They could sit down. Make s'mores. <laughs> he could sleep in the living room on the couch. It's about as good as it gets. I'm going to be a good ass mom though for sure. Cool mom. We not friends though. I, my daughter better never think we're friends. Because we ain't never friends. Be it. Hey sisters. How y'all doing? put my phone on the charger i'm about to get ready happy easter i hope y'all are having a good easter sunday so far i don't have no family like that and well y'all my family so there's that but i don't have no kids so i'm making the best of my day with my friends who also don't have kids or don't have much family i went shopping <laughs> okay so y'all know i got anxiety and personally me I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes because as you can see, like this has bleach on it. This is a house dress. I had packed a bag because I was gonna get ready at Kim's. I didn't bring no shoes and I didn't really want to go shoe shopping. So I decided just to come back home and get dressed. But I'm still gonna take my bag though because I'm actually gonna spend the night with Ken because Ken is having, he's a little depressed, not feeling so good. So we're gonna go over there tonight and make him feel better. But we're out to Rainbow. <laughs> I spent a hundred dollars and got me some cute stuff. Um, personally, me, like these, these pants right here. So cute, so cute, so nice, silky. I got these from Rainbow, okay? They were like $10. And if you shop on Fashion Nova, it's the same thing, basically. But me, I like to just get little cute stuff that I could put on. My body is really nice, so I could really make anything look good. So I don't mind going shopping at Rainbow. Personally, I'll get me a $10 dress with some $1,500 shoes a $3,000 bag, and a $1,000 hair. You don't have to have designer clothes on to be, excuse me, to be the shit. So let me show y'all what I got. So I got this cute pink dress. I get everything in a small, I'm a small. I really like this dress. It's very, it's giving legally blonde. So I got a cute pink dress. Let me get my dress, my chair. I'm gonna hurry up and get ready. I got a cute pink dress. And see, I only spent $104. $104.89 and I'm gonna look so cute today. I got me a cute little white halter top. This was like $4. I got me a another little white top. This was $3. I got me these cute, I've been wanting some jeans like this. I don't really wear jeans. So I got these in a small, they're really stretchy at the top and they're like really baggy on the bottom. 
And that's why I got this halter top. Cause I might wear this. I'm not sure I might wear this today. Cause I just like kind of want to keep it kind of simple. <clears throat> I got that. And then I got me a cute, oh, I didn't know it came with a belt. I don't like the belt, so I'm gonna get rid of the belt. Does the belt come off? I don't like this belt. Um, got me a cute little camo skirt, cause I have this cute rock star halter top that I wanna wear, and this will go perfect together with my black um, pantyhose, my midnight black misty pantyhose, and some cute expensive shoes. And then I got this little ensemble. I have a black one like this and I love the way it fits. And the material is like, the material is really good. It's really thick. And I like it because it has a zipper. And so I can have my cleavage out. And then I got a cute little a dress kind of like this color. But this is a house dress because it's got bleach on it. So I really can't wear this um, anywhere outside um so i got me a cute one and it splits right here it's kind of open right here so i can show some skin and then i got this black dress it's kind of like that one damn i'm getting blown up right now and i got this i think i'll wear this today um I'm not sure. I might wear my pink dress since it's Easter. But I did mess my knee up and I don't know if I really want my knee out right now. My knee still hasn't healed. So I might wear this with my black Louis Vuitton purse and my, oh, I could wear my black Louis Vuitton purse and maybe some black heels or some silver heels. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna wear. But I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on that I wanna wear for today and see how it looks. And I'm gonna come right back to y'all. All right, sister, so this is what the pink one looks like. I don't like these, I always take these off. So this is actually really cute. That's why I get smalls because it's, it's getting. And like this dress was $9.99, $10. $10 make ya holla. Okay, and see why, why get a designer dress when it's gonna mess up or when you could do this, put some $50, $1,500 heels with it. I think I'll wear this today. I like this. I'm going to Yardbird too. Yeah, it's giving Easter. It's giving Easter. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just wear this one. But it's got padding in the top. All right, cool, I'll wear this. This is really cute. Cause nothing else is giving. I kind of really, I might come home and change. Or I think I'm just actually gonna take this with me for my Sunday night days. For my Sunday fun day night fit. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do an across or the halter so i'm gonna bring both of them and i'm staying the night with ken tonight because he needs me he needs us girl all right and so let me plug in my curling iron i'm actually gonna hang up this stuff real quick because you know we're trying to stay organized yeah and then with my cargos i'm gonna bring these little white heels that i got yeah i'm just gonna bring these two for those all right so i'm gonna take off my out my dress uh, let me go over her <laughs> No, 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 I'm trying to think. So I packed up pretty much all of my, you know, little stuff that I use. Try to think if I want to curl my ends. Because with this long hair, I don't curl the whole thing. Hmm. I think I'll curl the ends. Just because, you know, it's Easter Sunday. Trying to be a little festive. I'm actually gonna go ahead and eat my gas sex too. <laughs> Girl, I've been having really, really bad gas lately. Like, ew. Like, it's been bad. Like, I'd be like, why am I farting like that? Like, I don't understand why Jesus would give us periods and buttholes. It doesn't make sense. Like, if he really just don't like us like that, he could have just said that a long time ago. But it just helps me though. Okay. I know some of y'all be passing gas. It ain't just me, I know that one. I be passing gas. And it's disgusting, I fucking hate it. D, can you imagine that Beyonce takes a shit? I wonder what type of faces she makes when she takes a shit. But then again, she's from like Houston, so she probably making that face, she be making like. <laughs> I be like, ooh. <laughs> I don't know, that's. Why am I talking about this? Me no sé. Yo no sé en mí. But, mm, maybe she do, maybe she don't make a face. 
I think she do though, but she be on say. She be acting up behind closed doors. And I have to get my hair refilled. I need so I'm gonna go get like probably two, three more bundles up here in a couple weeks and refill my hair. Um, I did my own lashes because my lash tech that I found was not hitting me up and I don't like that. It's just like, why would you do my lashes to postpone my feel for so long and to just not hit me back? Or get a booking page. That way you could people can actually book you. Cause I don't know, they just be, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's just, it's annoying. So that's why I do my lashes myself. And they actually came out really good. What you think, sis? I think they look good. Take another shot. I'm gonna get my lips done again. I know I just got them done. So I want my bottom lip bigger than my top lip. Right now they're the same size and it looks great. Trust me, I already know how I'm gonna look. Um, it's gonna look really good. I'm only gonna get the bottom done. I'm just gonna get a 0.5 and get a pout in the bottom. Cause my lips were already big and they honestly look the same. So, and the swelling went down. So I definitely wanna get the bottom a little bit bigger. And I don't wanna hear it, sis. I don't wanna hear it because you told me not to get a second BBL and I got one. Now look how good I look. Now look how good I look. I'm never gonna do anything too much. I'm never gonna look plastic. I would never do that to myself. Everything I do is always going to be tasteful. And I am the business, you know, like, if I didn't look good, people wouldn't shop at me, etc. would watch me. They probably would, because my personality is Look. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl the ends. What shoes I'm gonna wear? I'm gonna wear my black shoes, honestly, because I'm gonna have my black Louis Vuitton purse. I'm gonna do pink and black with the gold. So I'm gonna wear these with the pink dress. And I'm gonna have to put makeup on my knee. I swear, I just be trying to see the good in people too much. It's because the vibes be good. You know, people really do have like really good vibes. So I get it. You got two kids, two baby mamas because you have a good vibe. And I'm not gonna lie, he got money too. <sighs> he got money and his baby mama's bad as fuck. So I would just join the bad as fuck roster, but I don't want to do that. No, because his baby mamas are really bad. Like, I'm not gonna lie. But I probably would have got pregnant by him too. Nigga got money. What? Buy me a car? Buy me a crib? Hell yeah, but I had your baby. What? No, he bossed his baby mamas up though. If you gonna be a baby mama, be that type of baby mama. He got his baby mama's new cars. He got them houses. Like he really fuck with his baby mamas. But I kind of want to be the first baby mama. So not even the baby mama girl. I want to be a wife, but you know, whatever. I just don't want to be like these bitches out here. Baby mama buy a rich nigga and what do you have to show for it but the baby and child support. I don't want to be like that. I'm gonna have babies by a man. You better do what it motherfucking do. But shit, I don't know. I never used to even think about these things. You could ask my brother, me? Want a man? Want to be in a relationship? <sighs> never. I was never the type. I was always about my money. So I just started dating. I just started dating when I was 27. My mom wasn't on that type stuff. But now, I want to settle down a little bit. And y'all, I met this fine ass motherfucker. Like, oh God. <clears throat> Gorgeous. And he knows how to kiss too. But I got a little attitude and he's upset with me right now. So I don't know if that means like we're done done or like he's just trying to like give it some time. And then I met this fine ass Arabian guy girl and he likes me, which is really crazy because his English isn't even all that good. And we just be vibing the fuck out. We like really enjoy each other's company. He's the type, he would marry me, but he's a womanizer though. Every time he invites me over, like it's, he wants other girls there. And like, I just, it's just like, I got a little upset the other day. Cause I was like, I haven't seen, first of all, I brought him flowers. Cause one of his friends died. And so I went and got him flowers. If you like somebody, girl, buy him some Gucci, buy him some nice and see how far that goes. Like it goes, it goes far. Cause bitches don't like to do shit. Bitches always think that they should be the only one receiving. And that's not the case. But he's a womanizer. And I don't like that. Yeah, he, uh, he's, you know, I, I, I cussed him out and he was like, I'm not going to say anything bad to you. You're really important to me. I'm going to let you calm down. He said, it's not like that. But I really like him, but I get it. Like we're not dating. So I can't really just be like, I want to be the only woman, you know? I get it, but still I got a little upset. <laughs> Shit, when I'm with you, I want to be the only one with you. But I get it. I get it. We're not in a relationship. I get it. So it's only so much I can really ask for. But he respects me for sure. I really like him. He's really, really, really sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to lose you, love. And I only put my flat irons and my curling irons on like 360. No more than that. 
so I don't burn my hair. Cause you see my bangs are finally growing back, bro. Ew, that's how you know I done hung out with Dallas girls way too long, bro. I'm not a skater, like why am I saying that? I'm gonna start saying, cabron. <laughs> and see, when you put a low heat, the curls are so much better. Because when you put a high heat, you're burning your hair and so it just looks bunt. Going to look bunt. Y'all, I'm starting to think I'm not meant to be friends with girls. We're always falling out. Like, the African girl I was friends with, I had to cut that bitch off. She broke girl code. That bitch sneaky anyway. She be fucking her friends niggas and she be fucking her friends guys and all type of shit. And if she did it to that friend, I knew she would do it to me and the bitch tried it. One day, basically, my guy, I, I guess, blocked me, blocked my number. And so I used her phone to text him and it went through and I was like, oh, he did block me, but he had blocked me because I was in a relationship with white boy. And so I guess he kind of felt like sour about it, like, oh, whatever, like it blocked me. And so whatever, it went through. And so I blocked him um, on her phone. And so I guess one day he told me, mind you, she didn't tell me this. I guess he saw her and he was like, oh, don't talk to me, you blocked my number. Cause I guess her no her name popped up when she texted him. Um, Cause you know, the iPhones, how like you could share your name and picture. And she was like, she told him, she was like, oh no, no, it wasn't me. It was Malaysia, she blocked you. And it's like, first of all, bitch, why would you even say that? Why would you even mention my name? And mind you, every single time she would see this guy, she would text my phone. Oh, so-and-so is here. So-and-so is here. It got to a point where I texted her back one day and I was like, bitch, do you like him or something? Like dead ass. I texted her. I was like, do you like him? Why every time do you see him? Are you texting me about it? I don't give a fuck. I know he's outside. Like, do you like him? And you know, she was like, Ugh. you know what I mean? Like, cause I'm like, why every time do you see this nigga? Do you text me about it? If every time I saw your baby daddy and texted your phone, would that not be weird to you? Bitch, welcome to America, bitch. What are you talking about? And so, and then he had told me she tried flirting with him one time. The little African girl I used to hang out with, Bob. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I sure will say your name. What the fuck you gonna do about it, you little sneaky ass bitch? So, you know, I confronted her about that shit. Because that guy I don't play about. I liked him a lot. I liked him a lot. And I believe him. I know she probably did try to flirt with him. Because, bitch, why do you always bring him up to me? Why the fuck would you tell him that? What, you thought he wasn't gonna tell me, bitch? You thought he wasn't gonna tell me, your little sneaky ass? And, like, I know she a little sneaky ass, bitch. One day we was hanging out. Her friend was blowing her up asking her where's her guy at she was looking for her guy mind you bob is in the back seat of my car with her guy answering the phone talking about she don't know where he at bitch you could at least had enough respect to not even ask the phone when they went to my crib they fucked raw and everything so the next day i cut her off that's why sometimes y'all see me with her or not see me with her because the way she moves is just this this is the last time i would never be friends with her again i cut her off for like a whole year. You know, I told her that was just disgusting what you just did last night to your friend. And I just like, if you do, if you would do that to her, you would do it to me. And I stopped talking to her. And you know, when we made back up, she told me, you know, after that night, she started thinking about herself and you know, whatever. Why would you not think, why would you even think that's okay to be fucking your friend's guy? Like, I don't even understand how a bitch could be, um, like it doesn't, it makes you feel good because your baby daddy left your ass with a baby. And so now you have a evil, vindictive spirit against women because your baby daddy did you dirty as fuck you want to try to do women dirty as fuck behind their guy it makes you feel better about yourself bitch fuck you you a dirty ass bitch i'm not even gonna speak on all the other shit just a dirty ass nasty ass fucking sneaky ass conniving ass little bitch and she lucky because i didn't i wanted to put my fit foot up her ass to be completely honest i already know the bitch probably won't swing back but bitch, welcome to America. We got girl code here. We don't do that shit here, bitch. I don't know how y'all get down in Africa. We fucking each other niggas and shit. But nah, we don't do that over here, bitch. It's a girl code. So I cut that bitch off. And you know, with me cutting her off, her best friend unfollowed me, which I respect that. At least he got some loyalty. Bitch, have some loyalty like him. The fuck? You fucking sneaky ass, little dirty ass bitch. I see why you ain't got shit. I see why everybody done fucked your ass and you ain't got nothing out of it, bitch. I see why your baby daddy left your ass. He left he left his he left her ass in Africa for three years and came to America. And I see the fuck why. Cause he was probably a little dirty ass bitch then. The fuck?
little stupid ass bitch. I should have known to cut her off a long time ago because when we be getting ready together, the way she be looking at me, the closest one to you be your biggest enemies, be your biggest haters. The closest one to you, just the way she be looking at me, the bitch always lying about some shit. One day I wanted her to go somewhere with me and she was saying she couldn't go. She was at Walmart. Mind you, on the phone, it's so quiet. How are you at Walmart and it's so quiet in the background? I didn't say nothing though. But I already know, leave you a little sneaky ass little bitch. That's why I always cut you off every other fucking year because you move weird, bro. And guess what? On her birthday, nobody was there. Nobody. Me and her little uh, gay best friend were the only, and I wasn't even gonna go because she didn't come to my fucking birthday. I'm over here calling you my best friend and bitch, you didn't even come to my birthday party. Bitch, I see why wasn't nobody there. I see why. Let me clean this. I can't even fucking see. Little dirty ass bitch. You don't do that. You don't move like that. And you can move like that if you want to. Go get your ass whooped. The fuck? Welcome to America, bitch. Father, forgive me, I just saw an angel tonight In a black dress, brown eyes, Louis V, Westwood on her neck Westwood on her neck, yeah, Father, I confess Father, I've done something I regret She got me, got me with that look in her eyes Took her back home, I know that I probably should've let it go Should've let it go, but I let her in my bed Can you see the horns on her head? Seven days a week, we don't ever get to rest Blessings on me, giving me a Sunday best I've lost my way, Father, I confess Father, I confess, she got me possessed That girl, she looks like an angel But she's playing with fire Acts so innocent, but it's so Blessings. 
eyes on me, giving me a Sunday best. I've lost my way, Father, I confess. Father, I confess. She got me possessed. Oh, forsaking my own spirit, I'm ashamed. Burning as I walk into the flames. Burning as I walk into the flames. I'm the only one to blame. Protectors. I keep buying screen protectors and my phone keeps breaking. Get one of these. Get one of these cases. So this has a screen protector on the case. Isn't that old face? See. But I like my old face, sir. Oh my. Like a good neighbor. Stay far from there. Because, okay, I've never. You have every excuse you have. Rubber bands. For the money. But every four years. Extra battery with the camera. Oh, this is cool. They work us in our school. Got a yo-yo. Nobody ever used a yo-yo in a minute. Let me see if I know how to do it. I'm looking for how to say it, actually. Oh, look at this. Uh, for me, I was like, I know I got more. For my lips. I do. I put it on my finger. Oh, my ears. I bet you I can do it. I don't know that finding the right product is a major struggle. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> 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 Come on, yo go. Wait. You know how you use yo-yo? Of course. Yeah. My kids want juice. Mind it back up. Yeah, mind it back up. Yeah, mind it back up. Are you going to use that shovel? Juicy juice. Juicy juice. Juicy juice. <laughs> we'll reload. <laughs> Big fingernails. It's the great outdoors in a whole new life. Okay. What if you could get a five-star service? Back up. Back up. Back up. Any room? And tell your fish tails over crashed cocktails. How do you do that? And what if all trails <laughs> could lead back to the ocean? I'm not supposed to come back up. This spring, what if comes <laughs> what is when the first ever luxury resort lands in action? What cup can I use to pour the water? What you mean? So pour the water in the pot. I am 45, a trip to the final four on the line tonight. You gotta get started. This is your night. You gotta get started. Yeah. Undefeated South Carolina and NC State already across their tickets. USC and UConn will play following this game. Oh, that's what I get in the game. That was pretty fun. Well, I am. You guys show me how to do it. I'll do it right now. You got a one rewarding performance. Stars, beginning with eight you got oh. another four? Impactful player on both ends of the floor in that first half. That angel breeze here. She oh, you know how I'm walking like a dog? Yeah, It was cooking. <laughs> you know how I'm walking like a dog, baby? That's a, uh, that's a gen, uh, a gen X. Mm -hmm. The faces she be making so funny. They did. Here, draws five defenders, gets the hands on. Oh boy, So you gotta pull it back. Look up. 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 Take a look here. Let's keep the mark like to do when she goes out. And it's in the bottom. And then you can just have to pull it back up. Because when she pops, like you see it. Like jump. It has to catch. Like this. You got it now. Breeze. With 13 points. Like this. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. But you do it right again. Man, I don't want to do this right now. It's going to stress me out. I'm going to be stuck on doing it. I'm going to get it. Let's do this right now. Because I'm going to want to do this all day. Johnson gets fouled, and if it's Stokey, it will be her third, and it is. Number three on Hannah Stokey. Wait, come here. Show it over here. Let me see. I got to catch it. No. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I forgot how it goes. I gotta remember. Whoa, wait, I'm gonna do it.
What is that? 56% of her Oh my god, I love that. You know the Green Goblin, the villain? I'm glad. He need one of them. Wait, it's not rapping. You don't know where it can glide to? I gotta figure that out. It's not dangerous. It's not dangerous. I think it though. Destroy that motherfucker. Throw it to me, babe. Let me see if you can make it up here. Okay. 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 Sorry. Okay. So you shake it to turn it on? So, okay, so it goes this way. So you gotta like aim it where you like, see how like pointed this part down? Okay. And then it'll come straight to you. Okay. So you do which way the wind goes. So you gotta back it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.